got a roof over your head at night, then you're doing all right. All right. All right. All right. You're doing what you want to do with your life, then you're doing all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You really know what you need to survive, then you're doing all right. All right. All right. All right. Keep your hope and your dreams alive, then you're doing all right. Last time on Sailing Quinn. We were joined by our friend Becky and we sailed with her down to the Exumas. We went swimming despite high winds and visited an island full of iguanas. And then Becky schooled us all in spearfishing. From Bitter Iguana, we headed over to Staniel Key and Pig Beach. We just couldn't pass up an opportunity to pet piglets. Oh, there's one! Oh my god, he's swimming! Not as mobile as you appear. <laughs> More. I don't have any. No, no, I don't have any. Make him stop. Make him stop. Becky. <laughs> We moved from Pig Beach to Thunderball Grotto and had a bit of an anchoring fiasco, which I'll explain later. But while we waited for our situation to sort itself out, we all snorkeled on the grotto. You make your way into the grotto through an underwater cave at low tide. Inside is like an aquarium. The fish aren't afraid of you and they circle you while you swim.
You can climb to the top from the outside and jump through the ceiling down into the grotto. I was too scared to do it, but we did catch Becky on camera jumping. <laughs> you ain't the foot, you didn't go feet first. You didn't even come close to touching the ground. I didn't go anywhere near the ground. No. My ass though, ouch. Yeah, you. I the shit out of myself. You were like in the seated position before you went in. <laughs> Her technique was more than a bit questionable, but I give her all the credit for actually doing it. I should mention that Ben jumped too, but someone, and I won't say who, messed up the GoPro. So Christine will let me explain this one since it was entirely my fault. Since we had entered the Bahamas, we had been using a combination of the Garmin and the Navionics charts, but really favoring the Navionics charts uh, since that's what we used on our whole way south. For the first half of the Bahamas that we had been in, they had agreed, but now that we were down in the Exumas, they started to disagree. Since I was using Navionics, I continued to use Navionics and ended up parking in a spot where no other boats were, and I should have known better. Uh, but we had the depth when we dropped the anchor and then slowly but surely the tide left and dropped the water right out from underneath of us until we were resting on the ground. So this is the good ship Quinn, heart of ground again. Sad day. Becky leaves. It's Daniel Key Airport. in the road, put on the pedal, both hands upon the steering wheel, stay on the road, so when I'm old I can reflect on what I'm through the struggle, how these hard times have taught me well, enlighten my spirit and show the alley cat to survive in the jungle, the days.